darkness world stops turning as she's where I'm Jake. I'm Tom. We are VIMTV, Velocities of Music, the best kept secret in music reviews. Tonight, in our big request slash throwback extravaganza, we're going to review the 1970 release from Black Sabbath entitled Paranoid. One of two, actually. Yeah. Their debut also came out that yeah, year. Yeah, that's right. Um, Black Sabbath. Tom. Tom, do you like metal? I do like metal, Do you metal, like metal? Jake? Tom, yeah. what do you think about Paranoid? Paranoid, it's one of those timeless metal albums. To me, I would I would consider Black Sabbath to be kind of the first real metal band. Wait, wait, what like, about Led Zeppelin, Tom? I, Tom! Thanks every person ever that I've had this conversation <laughs> with. Now, I, this is actually a, bit, a pretty common debate. I'm sure probably all of you have had conversations along these lines, maybe with some of your friends. Uh, so I want to touch on this a little bit because a lot of people argue about what's the first metal band. A lot of people say Led Zeppelin. I would have to say Black Sabbath. If you really think about everything that embodies metal, um, from the instrumentation of the lyrical themes to the performances, uh, to me that's, that's kind of where it all begins. I mean, there's a lot of gray area between Zeppelin and Sabbath. Right. Um, but, I mean, Led Zeppelin, you know, they definitely had a much folksier, bluesy side that while you do get some kind of blues-based riffs from Black Sabbath, it's so much sludgier, so much heavier, so much dirtier, and more than anything, the lyrical themes. I mean, Robert Plant was singing about romance and relationships and Lord of the Rings. And, 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 and 80s. Yeah, and, and, and Ozzy was basically singing about death or war right. or something like that, like all the time. Yep. So to me, just that, that dark darkness that, that overtakes Black Sabbath's music is really what makes them more metal than anything to me. But Now, and I, I also think that, you know, because well, I, I agree with you, and, okay. and I'm, I, I mean, I grew up on albums like Paranoid okay. and all of Led Zeppelin's discography, and I've heard the arguments for Led Zeppelin being the first metal band. In fact, uh -huh. my dad still to this day says that, and I, I kind of find that hard to swallow because if you if you take it to the next iteration, I mean, well, then where do you stop? I yeah. mean, Led Zeppelin, well, t you know, I, I've heard the Beatles have written several very, very heavy songs I would yeah. consider near Yeah, metal. on a song-by-song -song yeah. basis, Helter Skelter is exactly. probably a metal song. Exactly. Exactly. But does that make the Beatles a metal band? Exactly. No. 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 And, and that's why I think that I, the first definitive metal act has to be Black Sabbath. Yeah. Now, you listen to Paranoid. Mm -hmm. There are so many crossovers in, in sound between yeah. this and the first two Led Zeppelin albums, which came out in uh -huh. 1969, 1970. So yeah. if you look at that, you know, it, you hear, like, from anything, from the guitar riffs to the drums to mm -hmm. Ozzy's vocal style, everything. It's like these bands, like, were in, like, Black Sabbath was imitating uh -huh. uh, Led Zeppelin, and, and you know that's that's natural. It's just Black Sabbath put their own spin on it Definitely. by uh -huh. by adding that you know very dark, iconic, um, uh, almost satanic yeah. uh, imagery to the to the to the lyrics, and and I love that. And now I. Tom, I have talked with you about this, but I feel like, you know, half of these songs I knew, I mean, I've listened to this album for a long time, but, uh -huh. but half of these songs I knew just from listening to the radio when oh, I was, yeah. uh, you know, a little... And they, sti and they still play them just as much, oh, stuff absolutely. like War Pigs, Paranoid, Iron Man, you can't avoid those songs, right, they're right. standout classics. Right, and now obviously Iron Man has transcended into film <laughs> and is constantly being played for the Iron Man movies, so everyone knows Black Sabbath now, um, and even though, I, I gotta say though, I really hate that song. Yeah. I really do. It's just, it's not that, it's just too, you put, you said camp. Yeah, that's yeah, a little, little way bit, especially. To it. And that's actually one one issue that I have with this album is it can be a little camp at times. And also one thing that Ozzy does uh, quite a bit here is writes vocal melodies that follow the guitar line verbatim. He does that on Iron Man. It's something that always bothers me. It's just a pet peeve of mine. Yeah. If that doesn't affect you, then don't let it affect you. I'm not telling you that it should. It's just something that anytime any artist does it, it kind of gets to me because I'm like, come on, guys, just you know, write, write something different. In, in Black Sabbath is. You know, Ozzy Osbourne is not known as a, as a great rock vocalist as much as he's known for just an iconic showman. That's true. Um, and, yeah. and, you know, as a frontman of, of a band like Black Sabbath and later on his solo work, I mean, he, mm -hmm. he carried that image of metal. So yeah, naturally, he's a god of metal because uh -huh. of that. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it just makes sense, even if he's not the best vocalist. You know, metal has not been a genre known for producing the best vocalist. I mean, that's time, what I was so. going to say. You know, I totally agree with you on that because it kind of proves the point that metal isn't about the vocals being pretty and everything. It's about them being very real and conveying an emotion and idea. And, and on those grounds, Ozzy definitely sells it. Right. Uh, he definitely can get those ideas out there. And I mean, when he's singing War Pigs and, Oh Lord, 
Bond yet? Like, right. oh man, you can't help but feel that. Yeah. Can't help but get behind that. I mean, it's it's just a great performance. Yeah, the, the energy is, is uh -huh. very there. It gets you into it. Now, now, kind of moving away from Ozzy, when you look at the instrumentals, when you look at the, the drumming, the bass, the guitar, Tony Iommi, Geezer Butler, and Bill Ward, these are great performances. These guys work together so well, and more than anything, this album is so much about the guitar riffs. Every single guitar riff just sticks right in your skin. You you can't let go of it. They, they're so memorable. Um, going from the sludgy, kind of dooming thing, I mean, when he hits that first note in Iron Man, it's right. it's a metal yeah. moment to behold. And then the, the, that voice right. comes the in. Voice and, yeah. and <laughs> that's, a diff so that's, a, that's a different story. But, <laughs> but from that to even like that thunking bass line in Hand of Doom, right. you know, th those guys, they work together so well, they can move from the slow to the fast and make it all those transitions work, and I have the utmost respect for that. And, and, and what I like is that they show that there's a little bit diversity behind their sound too in songs like Planet Caravan, where they yeah. can actually provide a good amount of atmosphere to their song Definitely. too, even that thick and the uh, the thickness of the of the mixtures of guitars and bass, and then you also have you know the distortion on on Ozzy's vocals. I mean, uh -huh. it's it's really kind of a unique look into to the sound of Black Sabbath and something that you know as they changed over time mm -hmm. um, was cool to witness. I also think it's one of his better vocal melodies. I do. On that track, mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's a really good, oh, really overlooked song in mm -hmm. Sabbath's discography. And they even have a good drum solo. I mean, this is this yeah. is a classic rock mm -hmm. album, and you have to like it. I, I have written in our overview. I've talked to Tom about this. Every time I listen to this album, it's like I'm coming home. Mm -hmm. These are songs I grew up on, and, and it's hard not to like it. Albeit, I have problems with some of just the more campy. Uh, moments. I, I think mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, it's a little uh, generic and there could be a lot more to it. Um, uh -huh. I have similar criticisms with the early Zeppelin albums too. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, I think I'm sitting more in like a mid 80s on this one, Tom. I'm thinking 84. I'm going to go 87. Yep. You know, and, and keep in mind, guys, we're probably going to give this disclaimer on all of the throwbacks yeah. that we do. That is no comment on the historical significance of this album. This album is so important in the history of metal and the history of music in general and, and, that so much can be said about that. We're just two guys trying to give our opinion, our take on where we're at with this yeah. album today in early 2013. Yeah, yeah, we're literally comparing just the quality of the music, not its historical context, with everything that's come out ever. So, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, you know. To us, that's where we're at. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, I, and I feel like that's pretty fair, yeah. considering if that album were to come out today, it's probably what we'd give it. Yeah, it's and, good. and it's a damn good album. Yep. What do you guys think? What is your favorite um, metal album ever? And also, what do you think? Black Sabbath or Led Zeppelin? Or some the, other band. Or, or the father. Who are the fathers yeah. of metal? Um, let us know at www.velocitiesofmusic.com or youtube.com slash velocitiesofmusic. As always, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and give us those requests because we love them. I'm Jake. I'm Tom. And we are VIMTV, moving music critique forward.